Hey guys, uh, Michael here, and um, just was stepping out of the shower, and I heard this tap, tap, tapping at my door. Went and opened it, and there was standing this handsome postman. I thought, it's my lucky day. And it really was, because I have a package right here from Steve Dar. Now, I knew he was sending uh, some VK GT, that would be the Vinyl Karma Goat Train, uh, to me, uh, but I really don't know what's in here, and I have not opened it yet. I'm going to open it right here in front of you and uh, let you all see the disappointment on my face when I realize that all he sent me was landfill, you know, no OB strips probably, <laughs> no Japanese pressings. I mean, what the hell? What the fuck's up with all this anyway, man? Honestly, I'll tell you, I've read a few things about Japanese pressings while I'm doing this, uh, that, that maybe they aren't really all they're cracked up to be, that maybe they're so quiet because of the volume that they uh, are mastered at, and that there's a possibility that, you know, everybody thinks they're so great when, oh wow, this is some crazy stuff. A uh, little note in here, while I was out getting stone, oh, I'm definitely saving this. And I really do need to hang on to this stuff uh, for other reasons, too, um, because it's so easy for me to forget things. Anyway, uh, Steve knows that I'm interested in this. I, I love locally uh, produced and distributed records. I, I just think it's really cool. Um, you know, the kind of thing that you're never going to find if you don't live in the area because they were never sold through any distributor other than maybe, you know, at a table. Uh, and, uh, or I know I have a few that were made here locally that if I couldn't, if I couldn't catch them playing somewhere, it was a dulcimer band, um, uh, I could, uh, a dulcimer poker band actually. I, 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 they had an address, well, I could go and buy one at their house from them, but you know, I wasn't going to find it at Tower Records or anything like that. So I, these are going to be interesting. He says, I don't know if these have ever been played. I'm sure these radio shows aren't common. Hope there's something here you enjoy. I, I'm sure there's going to be something in here I enjoy, probably a lot. This is, uh, it says 1977 Langley. Harold Morrison, have no idea. I'm guessing that it's probably Prague, given as that it's got uh, bass, guitar, and banjo. So it's, 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 it's probably Prague. These are probably guys that King Crimson uh, copied themselves after. No, I'm kidding. Um, and it's on, oh, there's notes and stuff. I can't wait to, to get into these. It's on Prize Records. And, uh, and, um, I, I'm willing to bet, uh, some cash even, I'm willing to bet that uh, Prize Records is uh, is pretty much a, you know, this is what it costs you to make a record, you know, like a vanity label, like vanity presses. Here's another one that's just uh, Southland, Louisiana's own Southland bluegrass, 32 acres of solid grass. Cool. Wow. In this one's this one's never even been opened. <laughs> How do you like that? And uh, oh, they're covering some flat and scrugs, some uh, oh Jimmy Skinner, uh, uh, William Gold. Oh, wow, this uh, uh, this looks great. This is going to be this is going to be so fun. Here's one, uh, the Liberty Flyer. Okay, and it's, wow. Okay, this is the Liberty Flyer. And this is, this is one of the radio shows he was talking about. Oh man, these are gonna be, these are gonna be crazy as hell, I betcha. And it is a bluegrass, bluegrass radio show. It says, um, from Art Menius, the Linear Group, Nashville, North Carolina. For the linear group, Whistling Star Entertainment knows news for immediate release. Uh, producer Los Angeles Warren has announced the following schedule for the first 13 
broadcasts of the Liberty Flyer, a weekly one-hour American acoustic music series syndicated to 77 stations in 33 states. And then the weekends, and who is going to be on them. This is really awesome. Wow. I mean, these are truly a bit of history. Um, is there a date anywhere on these that I can see? Uh, hmm. Uh, it gives January, February, and March schedule, and then I, I see it on the back side is more. Uh, oh, nothing on that. Let me see. Let me see what I see here. No. Uh, no copyright dates or, or release dates or anything, so I'm not really sure. Though These are going to be, there's one. Wow, here's another one. Uh, again, and, and this one is um, Liberty Flyer show 001 and 004, so show one and four. Ah, uh, this cool. looks cool. Whetstone Run, D Dixie Hills. Wow. And a little thing about him, and autographed on the back. Uh, the guy's names. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I, I'm so looking forward to hearing this stuff. The, the, I, I just love this kind of stuff. And I, I do like bluegrass. I'm, I'm not really crazy about, I don't know, there, there's some that's, uh, now here is a family. Grass Mountain Style. Grass Mountain Style, featuring the Parker Mountain Bluegrass. There we go, and it's on Park, uh, TBM Records. The Parker Mountain Bluegrass. Recorded in Russellville, Arkansas. Ah, oh, this is just a beaut. I mean, these are these are like bits of history in a way that uh, here, you know, phone numbers to call. Uh, it, they do have area codes, uh, so you know they're not like from the dark ages, like when I was a kid. Um, but wonderful. Uh, my grass is blue. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> mm. I always did have a thing for a... Oh, anyway. Uh, and this is another WBA Records. That's the same as this one. Uh, no, this is TBM. This is WBA. I thought there was another WBA. Uh... uh I don't know. Um, so here's another one. These are, this stuff is just so cool, and, and I love it, and, and I owe Steve big time uh, over and over and over again. He has been so generous. Uh, here's a box I can fill, uh, but you know what? I really need to drive down and visit the Oklahomies anyway. I've been uh, really impressed now that I've figured out who Mark Horton is with Horton Records. I mean, there are just so many things, and honestly, I, I, I am slowing the uptake. This is what happens with old age. Um, thank you so much, Steve. These are cool. And I have got some fun times ahead of me. Uh, uh, those radio programs are good. That's going to kill me. I just know it already. Those are, those are going to be great. And all these others, this is the kind of stuff I really, for the most part, am interested in. I'm not, I, I like the homegrown thing. You know, that's why I dig the Alan Lomax uh, thing and that kind of stuff. Um, homegrown, usually not uh, music majors or anything, but just self-taught, uh, traditionally uh, oriented, um, uh, you know, people who like to pick and the pick and make some grin and they don't have to tell stupid jokes, although, you know, that's cool too. Didn't appreciate this stuff as a kid, really. Actually, I began to, but it, it started with uh, sort of an ethnic thing, you know, uh, for me. But uh, th this is exciting. Thank you so much. That's a nice stack of 
of uh, good listening here. Um, and I am going to get to it right now. Later, folks. Ugh.